Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode with Chaza's Lifestyle. In today's video, we will be making Salisbury steak. All of my ingredients are listed down below in the description box, so make sure you take a screenshot of that. So here I have some ground turkey. You can use the beef, but I prefer turkey. And I went ahead and minced up some bell peppers and onion, and now I'm adding in that fresh garlic. Um, I love all fresh ingredients. And here is my seasoning mix I will be adding. This recipe is super simple, super easy. It took me about 30 minutes to prep and make. So of course we have to add the sasson. This sasson is the one that has no salt in it, which is perfect, low sodium. Next, I will be adding in one egg just to ensure that everything sticks together. After we add in that egg, we will give that a really good mix. You wanna ensure all those seasonings are mix very well into the meat. Now I will start by forming the patties with my hand. Some people call it hamburger steak, some people call it Salisbury steak, it really doesn't matter. They're pretty much the same thing. So here I like mine pretty flat. Um, you want them really nice and tender. As y'all know, Salisbury steak is really like a flat and very tender with a beautiful gravy sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and create several of these. I will be um, freezing the remaining mix. I don't really need that many. Um, it's not a lot of people in my household, but you can make a, um, as many as you want. This creates about eight to 10. Um, really it depends on the size and how thick you like your patties. So once I finished doing a couple of them, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them for a little bit. Okay, so you wanna make sure you freeze them. If you don't have time, you really don't have to. Um, I can tell you I only freeze them for like five minutes. That only helped it a little bit. So if you do have time, go ahead and put, pop them in the freezer for at least 30 minutes. If you can't, like I said, it doesn't matter. My pan is preheated on a medium heat. I went ahead and added some olive oil. Once my olive oil was hot, I added in my patties. Um, I will let that sear for a good four minutes on each side. You don't have to have it fully cooked at first because it's gonna cook in that sauce that we create next. What I love about meals like this, they only take a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and it's pretty fun to make, you know, stuff, thing, you can make a lot from scratch and it doesn't really take as much time as people think. My heat is on a medium heat. I don't want to overcook or scorch the outside of my patties. Just for personal preference, you want it to be super tender. So to get that tenderness, you only want a little bit of that color and a little bit of that sear on each side. You don't want a hard sear. So after about three to four minutes, I went ahead and flipped that on the other side. As you can see, that olive oil helped create that beautiful browning color that we all love. I will be taking my spatula and smashing it down some more to create more of a flat patty. Like I said, I want this super tender. When you cut through it, I just want it to be super, super soft and tender. <laughs> it's all about being tender over here, folks, okay? <laughs> They're pretty much ready and done, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove them, put them on a paper towel, let them drain slightly, and we'll create our gravy sauce. Now I will be keeping those bits and pieces in there. That's gonna create more flavor to our sauce. So be sure to leave that in the pan. Here I'm adding in some fresh um, Irish cream butter. Now you wanna make sure you have a very good butter and that's gonna help create amazing flavor in your gravy. So I will be adding in this amount first and then I will go in after I add in that flour and add in a little bit more. So once that butter is melted, I'm mixing it in with the olive oil. I am mixing it lightly since I'm using a metal spatula. Make sure you use a wooden spatula or a baking spatula. So once that is bubbling up and it's ready, I'm adding in that all-purpose flour. Um, you wanna basically create the thickness that you prefer. Now with me, I prefer a slight thickness to where it's not too runny.
Now I'm gonna whisk in that flour. This is basically creating a roux. This is the basic steps to creating that gravy. So you wanna mix that in. You will see a couple crumbles. That is perfectly fine. I'm gonna mix it until it's fully cooked, basically. I wanna take out that bitter flavor from the flour. And then I wanna add and add in a little bit more butter to create more of a smooth texture like so. Once it's to the color that I prefer, now I'm gonna start adding in that chicken broth. You can use beef broth or you can use water, but make sure you season to taste if you're using water. Now I'm using chicken broth because I prefer chicken broth over beef broth. And you wanna make sure you whisk, whisk, whisk. It will thicken up, but this will create a smooth texture for your gravy sauce. So that's why you only add a little bit at a time. As you can see, it's coming together so beautifully. Oh wow, look how smooth that is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish adding in that remainder of the chicken broth. And as it cooks, when we put the patties back in, it will thicken up even more. So don't be worried about it being too liquidy as it looks right now. It has to cook a little bit more. Now once my sauce starts to thicken up and it creates a slight boil, we will be adding in a little bit of that Jamaican browning sauce. This will make my sauce a little bit darker to my preference. Um, I love adding this in my stews and gravies and sauces. It's just amazing and I definitely recommend it. Now you still want to make sure you season your sauce even though you season your patties because this is going to basically take over. So you want to make sure your sauce is seasoned to perfection. After I add in those ingredients, I will give that a quick whisk. Now with the Jamaican browning sauce, a little goes a long way, so you don't really need much. So as you can see, my sauce is starting to thicken up even more, boiling a little bit. So now it's time to add in those patties. Now this sauce is enough to have about six to eight patties in there. After that I will be covering my patties with some of that gravy sauce to help it cook fully and that helps create more of a tender texture in your meat as well. You can serve this with mashed potatoes, rice, anything you like really. I really love this with mashed potatoes especially with that gravy sauce. Oh my gosh. I went ahead on the side and caramelized some onions, so I will be adding in that next. You can do that after you take out the patties, but I almost forgot. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, we need the onions. The, the onions is mandatory, okay? So you wanna make sure you add in some onions. Some people don't like it, but trust me, it's a game changer. And we're just gonna drizzle that all on the patties and mix it in with that sauce and let that cook for a few more minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a simple 30 minute meal, nothing too major, super simple and quick and the whole family would love it even the kids if you decide to make this recipe be sure to tag me on instagram at chaz's cuisines if you enjoy this recipe be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already and comment down below what else you would like to see next